freedom to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the government, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for life or transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses, usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, convinces a design to reduce them under absolute deficit, it is the right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their systems of government. The history of the present King of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries, usurpations, having a direct object, the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. He has refused to assent to laws, the most wholesome, wholesome and necessary of the public good. He has forbidden his governments to pass laws of immediate and pressing importance unless suspended in their operation until his assent should be obtained. When so suspended, he has utterly neglected to attend to them. He has refused to pass other laws for the accommodation of large districts of people unless those people would relinquish the right of representation in the legislature, a right inaccessible to them and formidable to tyrants only. He has called together legislative bodies that places unusual